Well, my day is generally very, very packed. I generally think about what I have to do over the next 15 or 16 hours that I'll be at work. And I also think about the surprises that my field of science and medicine often have waiting for me. Well, there's no doubt, if you look at the history of public and global health, vaccines are one of the, if not the most important intervention that has ever been developed for any public health issue. Now, West Nile virus was never in the United States till 1999. It was in the West Nile area of Africa and in, and in the Middle East, and it came over to the United States, uh, likely through a mosquito or a bird or a person who was infected. And we had a few cases for the first couple of years, and then we had an outbreak a couple of years after it arrived, and now it's endemic at a low level in the United States. It isn't a major public health threat but it is enough of an issue that we get enough cases each year, and that's the reason why we have to have good mosquito control. We try to make a vaccine and would have made a vaccine for West Nile years ago, but we couldn't find a pharmaceutical company that was interested in partnering with us. What people need to understand about Zika, it's important to protect pregnant women. It is likely that Zika was in Africa and in Southeast Asia for decades and decades before we had the first recognized outbreak. In the United States, we have close to 700 already travel-related cases. We've had local outbreaks of dengue and chikungunya in Florida and in Texas, and we've been able to successfully contain it. I believe we need to do the same thing and will do the same thing with Zika. I work seven days a week, and I've been doing that for a very long period of time. I don't really relax much, so I, and I'm, I'm a, a, a proud uh, workaholic. Uh, that's what I do right now. The challenges are too many. I t watch my diet reasonably well. I'm about the same weight that I was when I graduated high school, and that was a very long time ago. I like to run. So I'm a runner, I've been running for many years. I've run several marathons, many 10Ks, and I continue to make sure that I every day do something that is exercise related. I, I, uh, I, I think I have a very good sense of humor and I laugh at a lot of things. I think just the, the surprises in life, the things that you don't know whether to laugh or cry because it's so ridiculous. Those are the kind of things that make me laugh. The hope that I have for the discipline for which I'm responsible in infectious diseases is the elimination of those diseases that are controllable. I want to see the elimination of polio. I want to see HIV no longer be an epidemic and pandemic as we know it. I want to see an era of the end of AIDS. I don't think we'll ever be able to completely eliminate infectious disease. That's unreasonable, but we can do a lot more to alleviate the suffering associated with infectious diseases.